right, the first device we're going to look at is this um, uh, baby monitor setup that I just got last week. So it's brand new, uh, bought in Kmart for about 50 bucks. Um, and it's got a, a parent unit here, which you uh, take around and put by your bed. And it's got the baby unit that you put in the nursery, uh, nice and near to the crib. And the idea is that the sound that's picked up here is transmitted to the parent unit here. Um, the parent unit's on, but it's complaining because it hasn't got a link. And uh, at the moment, we've got very low background radiation as well. But let's just change that by switching on the baby unit. It's just firing up. And there you go. We've got now 1,827 milliwatts per meter squared between those two devices. Uh, that is just uh, off the charts. I can't believe this. Uh, if we move the parent unit away, uh, we stay registering super high output from the baby unit. If we pull it away, uh, the radiation levels decrease. So about a meter away, we're still very, very high. That's about a hundred times higher than I would like to be sleeping with. We pull back another couple of hundred meters. Sorry, another another meter. We're still really high. Still measuring super high levels. We're now out of the room. For me, that's about as that's about as much as I would want to be around for a short time. And we're about four or five meters away. If we keep walking backwards. The levels are still really high, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, now they're dropping back to 0 0.1. The signal from this unit is really aggressive. It's really aggressive. 0 0.03, 0 0.01, now we're getting, we're about 10 meters from it and we're starting to get down to something that uh, I'm less concerned about, but that's still, that's still pretty high. You know, for sleeping, that's too high for me. I don't want to see that 10 times lower. We'll just keep pulling back. Now we're behind some walls and now the signal starts to be shielded. Let's just turn on the sound and see what we can hear. So as we get closer, signal strength goes up and you can hear the buzz. The buzz is because the deck pulse is at 100 times per second. You can hear that. 100 times per second, all day, all night. As we get closer and closer, signal goes super, super high. And that is a recipe for your child having all kinds of sleep problems, uh, developmental problems as a consequence, and a whole range of issues as, uh, as life goes on. Now, let's just uh, carry with us the parent unit. So now we're going to step out of the room again. We'll take the parent unit with us and what you can see is that the signal isn't going down of course because both the baby unit and the parent unit are both transmitting 24 hours a day seven days a week so as we walk away the signal hasn't dropped because we've got the uh, parent unit with us so we'll leave that there we walk away from the parent unit, the signal strength drops. You can still hear it buzzing away. We'll go back into the room, back into the nursery. And as we get closer to the baby unit, the signal strength goes off the chart again. Now, these levels are far higher than what you'll get by having a cell phone next to your child, probably much higher than you'll get from the Wi Fi route of being right next to your child. This is a recipe for disaster. This is a recipe for your real problems for your child. And it's sold as a, as a baby monitor to put in your, in your uh, nursery right next to your small child who hasn't even developed a thickness of a skull like the rest of us. Okay, so now we're just gonna do a walk around the house with this, uh, this thing and just listen to it, broadcasting the radio in the other room there. Uh, and now we're at the other end of the house that Lots of walls in between us, still registering super high strength uh, signal. 
So probably 30 meters away now. And yeah, you got you got good sound signal, but uh, at what cost? <laughs> 